you know, Eddie Hearn and everybody on that side, you know, they, they've done a number on how to finesse around that Wilder Joshua fight. Mm-hmm. They've, mm-hmm. they've, I'm going to keep it real. I know a lot of people won't want to hear it, but Eddie Hearn and that team and everybody, they ran circles around uh, Al Heyman and the PBC and all of them Holy as far as shit. when it comes to that fight. But keep it 1,000% honest. Yeah. They've outlasted. They've outwitted. They've outdone this. And the very first thing, I'm going I'm to I'm say this. Deontay Wilder, I mean, keep it real. Some people don't like hearing this stuff. The people that really be in the box and stuff behind. But Al Heyman let Deontay Wilder down. Mm-hmm. When Deontay Wilder had the WBC title, Charles Martin had one. The, the battles was kind of spread around. They had an opportunity to fight Charles Martin to get the second belt. And then Joshua would have had two. Wilder would have had a two. At some point, they would have gone after that fight. Or it would have been the ducking would have been so unreal. But they allowed Parker... I mean, not Parker, um, Charles Martin to fight uh, Anthony Joshua to get three belts. And that's when the whole leverage game yeah. started being played. Mm. If they if they just, they should have overpaid for that, for yeah. their company. Because becoming the heavyweight, the um, undisputed heavyweight champion, a knockout artist, yeah. is going to make you so much money and take you places. I don't understand how they didn't just get the deal done. Get the deal, overpay whatever you feel. Just get the deal done. When that happened... It's because one party didn't want to fight. When that happened, though, they started doing everything to... We could, we got three... We got, he, can, he don't make this. He don't make that. We got. We have all the rights, and that's what ruined the fight. Leverage. So I know a lot of people like to have this whole uh, thing that, oh, he, don't, he didn't... Vote. I can just tell you one thing. I, I'm not here to argue who did what and what. But as the legacy... It looks like this fight is never going to happen. Mm. And as the legacy goes down for the overall fight between them that will, may never happen, possibly it looks like it won't happen, I just know one thing. that If you were a fan of either fight of the world, Wilder fans were begging for that fight. And whenever you asked a lot of the Anthony Joshua fans, they gave reasons why the fight shouldn't happen. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna leave it at that. That's that's the legacy of that to me. Mm-hmm. And that tells you a lot of things you yeah. want to know. As much Boxing as this, knowledge. somebody gonna be mad, but that's the fact. Yeah. Every Wilder fan was pleading for the fight. Yeah. And a large portion of the Anthony Joshua fight, he make more money. He got more belts. He this. He's chasing. He's I heard every excuse in the book. Yeah. So to me, that's the legacy of how I'm gonna view that event that never. That's why we don't rock happened. with Anthony Joshua. So it is what it is.